U.S. and some allies are increasingly concerned that, you know, China is looking to export more of its industrial capacity as its, uh, its ability to absorb some of that capacity at home seems diminished with uh, moderating growth. And uh, particularly in the clean area uh, industry, that's been a priority for the Biden administration in terms of diversifying the supply chains and bringing a lot of that production back. So that's, uh, that's an area they're looking at very closely. Janet Yellen's trip, at least the message of her trip, seems time to uh, give a little bit of a heads up on what may be coming to Chinese leaders, as well as to just provide a little bit of uh, more stability in this relationship between Beijing and Washington. You remember there had been almost uh, or more than a year break in communication between the two sides until Biden and Xi met uh, late last year in the San Francisco area. This is adding to the sense that communication can continue even amid all of these disagreements about, uh, about uh, overcapacity from the U.S. side, about the uh, restrictions on technology transfers and things like that. It's interesting because the call between Biden and Xi, the readout of it, seemed a little touchier on the Chinese side than the U.S. side. Are we getting a sense that that's the, uh, how things will come over the next few weeks as we have the Yellen visit, but also Antony Blinken heading over to China? Yeah, I, I think the Chinese know that, uh, that there are some more trade restrictions coming. You know, in, in addition to these potential trade barriers on clean energy, uh, there has been a lot more talk about the U.S. pressuring allies, such as South Korea and Japan, to limit their servicing of uh, high-tech semiconductor equipment that was sold to China before some sanctions came in place. Uh, so it's a rough, complicated relationship at this point that will probably be made more turbulent as the U.S. gets closer to the uh, November presidential election. Um, so I think, you know, China's aware of uh, the politics involved. At the, same, uh, on, at the same time, they are interested in luring uh, investment that they can. They're interested in keeping companies involved in the Chinese economy. You saw President Xi meeting last week with uh, a number of American CEOs and executives. So uh, they realize that they want to stay connected. They don't want trade battles to become worse. Uh, but the reality is that it could be a very rocky road ahead in, in the coming months.